good. None of those camera dealies in here either. Okay, so let's add um, door repair onto the list of skills that Chris has. Chris Redfield, door repair man. I also do uh, tiling, so if your roof needs doing, just a bit on the side. Right, oh, handgun ammo down here. What, what's going on? Oh, I couldn't see what way I was facing. <laughs> it's like, damn you, fixed camera angles. Nah, not having to go. Love fixed camera angles. And oh, how I miss them. I see that, um... Oh yeah, the tank, we need it. The Resident Evil 2 uh, remake that's coming out doesn't have fixed camera angles. And uh, one of my friends was like, he's same sort of, he's an old git like me, so he was like, oh, I'm annoyed to see that Resident Evil 2 remake doesn't have fixed camera angles. Which I kind of am and I'm not, in a way. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel that, though I like playing the classic games with the fixed camera angles, I do feel that it is somewhat dated, so I'm good with it. And to be honest, I'm just glad we're getting a remake for Resident Evil 2, you know, I'm not going to um, start having to go about things like camera angles. Bloody hell. But, yeah. Uh, it's all good. I've got no beef with it. So anyway, uh, we got the tank. Um, and... Since it's too small for us to get into, we will use it a different way. We go back to that, uh, the room that we're in, uh, which was on the first floor. You're on the second floor, yeah, it's got to be the first floor. And uh, we go put it in there. And then that gives us another item. A lot of this is I know how to get an item and then that item will take me to the next item. That's how I'm doing this, you know. I'm not like got a overwhelmingly uh, good knowledge of Code Veronica. I mean, I completed it like 10 billion times. Um, but not for a while. So, it's been a while. Okay. Oh yeah, I don't know if I uh, showed you guys, but... Uh, Memorial Play, Dedicate Training Facilities Completion, 8th of, De 8th of December. So that's where I got the temperature from earlier, if anyone was wondering. Uh, yeah, put the tank in here. Tanks for the memory. Look, it's given us a book. And a key. Take the turntable key. Yep, yeah, cool. Uh, there is a file, which I will not be reading. The secret passage note. Ooh, sounds like a good one. Pause if you wish to read. <laughs> I just saw the words gorgeous and bridge. Oh, that bridge is gorgeous! How can a bridge be gorgeous? I guess if you were like an architect, and you were like really into that sort of shit, then you probably would be. Oh my god, it's gorgeous! Some sort of Ted Mosby-esque figure. But, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to... Someone asked me the other day whether I'd, um... I think it was in a comment. Well, I might have been on Twitter, I can't remember. But someone asked me if I would, uh, be playing... Or, more to the point, recording... Uh, like a playthrough of the Resident Evil 2 remake. And... I'd say, you know, all being well, yeah, most likely I will be. I don't think that I'll be doing it immediately on release. I mean, it might be near the release date, but... Obviously, I want to play it for myself and experience it for myself before I... Um, oh, we can grab the shotgun. Before I do it for YouTube. Because there's going to be like a million and one blind playthroughs up on day one. Or even before day one of release date anyway. And, you know, I don't see any point in me throwing my hat into that race. You know? Uh, so, yeah, I'll probably play it for myself and then maybe not long after... Um, then record it for YouTube, but yeah, there's no point in me uploading the full game of it, like day one or whatever, to compete with everyone else. Homie does not play that. I'll just, yeah, like I say, enjoy it for myself first, and then uh, possibly play it for YouTube later. <laughs> Long time no see, Chris. Wesker? Still alive? <laughs> what are you doing here? 
I came for Alexia. Who? An organization hired me to capture her. Wait. You attacked the island. And my sister. My plans. So now I've sold my soul to a new organization. Now die. Here's a little secret, Chris. I figured out that your sister is now in the Antarctic. With Alexia. It's too bad you won't be seeing her again. <laughs> Alexia? <laughs> Get a load of that 80s action movie roll right there. <laughs> Pretty epic. Anyway. Oh, shit. Come on, dude. Right. Probably... Yeah. I might be far too far away for this to have too much effect. Shit. Okay, I'm going to try and get around the other side. Whoop. Now. Oh, shit. No bullets. No bullets. You think I'm fucking stupid, Hans? Right. Have some of that slag. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Right, I'm going to go grab that herb. Mart as well. Keep meaning to. And I have the space right now. At least in this one, now Albert's got those weird eyes. It makes sense why he wears sunglasses indoors. In Resident Evil 1, when he's wearing the sunglasses. First of all, at night. Outside the mansion. And then at night, inside. So he's not just wearing them... Two worst things you do with sunglasses. Wear them at night. Wear them indoors. Unless you're blind, then. Not having to go. Um, and Albert breaks both those rules. He wears them at night and indoors. And I want to know why. He's not Bono. What's his reason? I mean, he's got a reason now. He's got the weird eyes. But what was his reason prior to that? I just think it makes me look so damn cool. I think he watched a lot of Johnny Bravo when he was a kid. And that was his idol. So, that's my theory. Anyway. But, whatever. He's a grown-ass man. And I guess you've got to, like, take... You know, not having a go, but... If your name's Albert, you've got to take other steps on being cool, ain't you? Because, like, the kid called Albert is obviously not going to be the cool kid at school. Uh. Anyway. Yeah, not having a go if your name's Albert, by the way. Don't get me wrong. At least it's an original name. Well, not original, obviously. That's mental. You'd be the only one called Albert, but I mean, not too many people are called Albert, so... Right, okay, I'm getting a bit too trigger-happy with this machine gun, so let's put it away. Uh, okay, he's dead. And we've got some shotgun, sh sh shotgun cells? Shotgun shells. Yeah, I'll save some machine gun ammo. Like I said, I always end up with, like so much ammo at the end that I do want to use the guns that I don't normally use. I'm trying to make Arnie proud. And Stallone. I'm trying to get cast in the next Expendables movie. So I want to use plenty of uh, different guns. Rack up the bodies. Okay, there's another one. Okay. I'm trying to think what... Um, is this way? What the hell's going on? 
He's not. Fu I'm not heard him fall or anything or react for a while. Oh, son of a bitch! He was hiding behind the. That's annoying. So the auto aim was picking him up, but he was hiding behind the wall. There we go. How dare you! You cost me so many handgun rounds. I've got a good mind to kick you repeatedly, but you wouldn't feel it. So, right. Yeah, what is through this door? I can't remember. Uh. Oh yeah, I know. Oh look at this. Sleeping on the job. Look at him down there. He's got all his working gear on and stuff, and he's sleeping. Typical bloody builder. I think he's a builder. Let's say he is. He stood right there next to a broken floor. He's a builder and he's not fixing it. Typical builder. You always see him, don't you? Especially with roadworks. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot about this. Yep. Brilliant. Now that means I can go get the modified handgun. Which is um, super dope, as the kids say. Uh, right. Nope. Alright. Oh shit, that guy's got pace on him. Screw it. Shoddy. Nice. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Well, the handgun will be more useful when we upgrade it anyway. But I haven't got I haven't got loads of ammo. Uh, handgun ammo with Chris. I might have to uh, conserve it a bit. But it's all good. I can't remember what Claire's handgun ammo situation is. Did, what did I do with the handgun? Did Claire have it on her? Because I don't... Oh, I can't even remember, man. I should be making notes. <laughs> I don't think I would have took the handgun ammo into that boss fight with Claire. I just don't know. Alright, we'll have to see. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, either way, hopefully we'll come across quite. Oh shit! What's this hunter doing here? I didn't step in one of those camera things. Oh Jesus! Oh my God! He just—he like literally accidentally ducked over under two of these shotgun blasts. Mmm, feisty one you are. That was Yoda. So. I'm down to one shotgun. Man. It's just... See, that's why I bought the machine gun, bitch. Using this machine gun so much, you want to start calling me Kelly. <laughs> machine gun Kelly? No. Anyway, what's I saying? Oh yeah, that hunter. Notice that he. I didn't step in any camera. He was just there. So I don't know what he's playing at. Oh shit! I never picked up those acid rounds. I remember saying that I needed to pick them up or come back for them with the lot pick, but no, nope, they're gone forever. Oh well. Right. Oh, got uh, the jar, the green jar points from uh, Evil Within. And. Nice. The enhanced handgun. Cool. It's kind of funny that it's just like in the inventory at a different angle to show that it, how good it is. Yeah, look at my handgun. It looks the same as before, near enough. You're just holding it differently. Yeah, but it looks cooler now, doesn't it? But I assure you, it's not just a different angle that is different. It's much more powerful. It's a weapon that's really powerful. Uh, oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. So, the hunters, right? When you step into one of those cameras, the hunter, you know, comes and finds you. But how does the hunter know where to find you? I mean, I get that Albert's released them and stuff, but how do they know when the alarm goes off to come where it is? And how do they know the layout of the building? That indicates to me that A, the hunters have had training, like, like looked at a map of the building, Albert's ran the layout by them, which is weird. A group of hunters looking at a map and going, yeah, this is the layout. Second, they must have like pages or something on them, so that when I step in a camera, like there's a hunter like just chilling with his mate next to a water cooler, and then it's like, beep 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 beep, oh shit, that's me. Oh fuck, he's in uh, the corridor with the, uh, outside the enhanced handgun room. Yeah, gotta go, uh, Barry, I'll see you in a bit. Like, is that really happening? Am I expected to believe that? Is there a gizmo lying around somewhere? Like a pager hunter thing? 
a hunter for a pager for hunters is there a gizmo lying around there that can do that and if not why not it's the future of resident evil games everyone else is on social network and going mobile oh shit oh god well these are these two are obviously on a break just waiting to be paged okay let's take them out oh shit this guys like aj styles man he's proper fucking Oh god. Oh. We have to get out of there. No one puts Chris in the corner. Things were starting to kick off. So I got out of there. Yeah, I'm not ready for that kind of violence in my life. Well, those two uh, hunters were well coordinated. Yeah, they're getting smarter over the years. Damn you, hunters. You're on social network, you have mobiles. And you've learnt to work as a team. Fair play to you. You must have been on a fair few courses. I'd like to get to this level of uh, skill. Alright, well. How am I doing? I'm on caution. Yeah, I didn't feel like... Staying in that corner, getting pummeled. And just hoping that I took them out before they took me out was a good strategy. Alright, so there's some health. Uh, yeah, I'll take another one. Well, I'll take that. That should get me back to fine. Excellent. And oh yeah, so I know where we are now. Anyway, we're down in this area. We need to get the um, those three, you know, the navy plate, the whatever they're called. I can't remember. We need to get those three things that we had earlier with Claire. So, but I'm going to drop a save real quick here. Then I feel like I'm going to go back up and take care of those hunters. Because I've got to go back that way. And if they do kill me, then at least I've just saved. So, jokes on them. <laughs> I'll put the ink ribbon away. And I think I'm going to get the crossbow out with my um, explosive bolts. Yeah, I've got 19. Uh, I'm going to take another health item. Just in case. I should be fine. I'd hope so, anyway. But, yeah. I, uh, since I've just saved, I'll take care of them now. Because I don't want to carry on cracking on in this area do a bunch of shit and then come back this way forget about them they kill me gotta do the shit again not good believe me i will be po'd it's not a good thing all right let's see how well they come uh how well strategized they are now i've got my crossbow whether we like oh shit he's come back already we're on a break Surprise, motherfucker. Okay. Forgot to equip the crossbow. <laughs> oh, oh god. Oh god. Okay, okay. I wasn't very well prepared. Let's heal up. Nice. Oh shit. You done? Should have stayed down, bitch. Yeah, there we go. Alright. <laughs> well, they're not a problem anymore. Uh, more shotgun shells as well, so... Alright, well. In the end, I won. You know. Sure, they made me look bad. Twice they got me in the same corner and were pummeling on me, but... Uh, I'm the one that gets to walk away and tell the story. Something is blocking it on the other side. I can't open it. Yeah, I thought that was the case, but I thought I'd just double check. Okay, well. I think that's the only items up here. Yeah, don't need to go that way. I don't think we can go that way. In fact, I'm sure we can't go that way, so we'll crack on. Head on to the... Uh, where we put all those... What are they called? Proofs, that's it. The proofs. We're going to go get them three proofs. Um, and... Yeah. That's... Uh, that's what we're going to do. Because that's what the game wants. And what the game wants, the game gets. We do have, as well, an oil puzzle coming up. Um, but I have preemptively got some notes next to me to do that quickly. Uh, usually I just blag it when I get... Because it's not a terribly hard puzzle. And I just, whenever I get to this point, I just blag it and eventually I work it out. Um, but yeah, I wrote a note down anyway to just get through it quickly so that shouldn't be an issue 
Because all that would end up happening if I work out myself is you guys would be sitting there getting bored going, fucking hell, hasn't he finished this yet? Or I'd end up fast forwarding the footage, which I thought, it's a lot of effort on my part, isn't it? So, <laughs> so um, you know, I'm already playing a computer game and talking at the same time, and oh shit! Uh, you done? Four shotgun shells, Jesus! Sweet Jesus! Who's that hunter think he is? An end boss? It's a ripoff. I do feel like I'm, I've complained quite a bit about how many bullets it takes to kill stuff. Look, I'm like I'm being like um. Like it's a cost-effective thing. Uh, four shotgun shells to shoot to kill a hunter. That's expensive. Back in my day, they only took three. The cost of everything's going up these days. Right. Yeah, so... Uh, of course, with the builders napping all the time. Uh, yep. I mean, we saw that builder earlier nap him. Oh, yeah, that's what I didn't think of it. You see it all the time, don't you, like, with builders and stuff. Especially roadworks, man. The amount of times there's always roadworks where I live. And when you drive past, nobody's fucking working on them. They're just all stood there in high vises, just, like, chatting on their phones. Right. Oil puzzle. Uh, the voice controller is the oil puzzle. The automatic device out of order. It must be operated manually. Right, so, if we read the notice, basically... The gist is, supply the oil to the 10 litre tank using three cylinders. The standard oil amount must be maintained. If oil isn't at the standard amount of 7 litres, the device will not activate. Be careful. Right. Kind of reminds me of uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance, where they have to do that, um, that water puzzle thing. <laughs> right, so hang on here, what am I doing? Uh, okay, so three, and three, and three, and then that. And then two, and then the five at the end. And that should be exactly seven. Sweet. There we go. Saved us a bit of time, bit of faffing. Nobody likes faffing around. And, yep, I knew it. I remember when I was in here early on with Claire, and I was thinking, oh, those zombies going to get up. And I swore they did, but obviously now. It's with Chris they get up, of course, because he's the unlucky guy. Well, they're the unlucky ones. They're going to get some enhanced handgun bullets to the face. Uh, see, this is the joys of uh, your fixed camera angles. Am I hitting them? Or am I not? Who knows? No, I'm definitely hitting them. They're reacting. Come on, lads. They better be guarding some bullets or something, because I feel ripped off. If I'm firing all these bullets and I don't get anything in return. Okay, music stopped. What you got? What you got? Shotgun shells. Yeah, that's a fair trade. God, look how low I am. I handle ammo, though. Scary times. That's what the way the economy's going, though, isn't it? You don't even have enough handgun ammo to put in your handgun. How am I supposed to feed my children? Well, I don't have any children. Problem solved. Okay, so the bridge uh, should be up and running now. 